Hi everyone, today I wanted to show you how to truncate your home page if you are in WordPress. We have a lot of clients who are looking to truncate their home page and create a featured image with just a snippet of the post. And I wanted to show you how to do that yourself if you want to. Um, and there are many ways you can do that in your theme. All themes are a little bit different. So you, this may not be exactly like yours, but you can get a general idea of where to look for your theme settings and how to do that yourself. So you're going to go into your dashboard in WordPress and along the left hand side in your dashboard sidebar you're going to scroll down to settings and in the settings you're going to go to reading. First thing I want you to see is that, is that this shows how many pages are going to show on your post on your home page at any point in time. So I have five posts set to our home page I'm going to show you what that looks like. And you can see here we have a full post. And then we have another full post. And we have one that's been truncated. That's three. And then we have another that's been truncated. There's our read more. That's four. And then there's a video. And then you can go to the next page. So that, that's five. And of course you can see here that we have various truncations on ours, but I'm going to show you how to do that. So on the left sidebar again, you're going to go to Genesis and you're going to click into your theme settings. That is where all of this is going to take place. And you are going to scroll down to right here where it says content archives. And right now this says display post content because we've chosen to display our post content and when we want to truncate we do that manually in our posts by inserting the read more button. And that is the way that we choose to and that allows us to customize where our posts are truncated on our home page. So we can choose to put a full post in when we want to and we can choose to truncate them when we want to. It also allows us to have multiple images before you click over to read um, or not. We did that because we often have short content like videos or we have very very simple tutorials and we don't want to truncate those posts because they're so small. But when we have large posts, we'll truncate the large posts. But many people want to have everything truncated on the home page. So you're going to go here and you're going to click on display post excerpts. This is one option. And you are going to want to include your featured image. And then often you'll have a choice of what size. My theme allows for four different sizes. I can choose the large, medium, thumbnail, horizontal thumbnail, or square thumbnail. I'm going to choose the horizontal thumbnail and then I'm going in to save. And we'll see how long it takes for this one to show up. And here's my home page. We'll see if it showed up or not, if my cache is working too quickly. Okay, so you can see here that we have been truncated and I don't want to download that. Okay, so here is my large image, and this is my excerpt, and then here's my next post with my image. This is the largest image it would have had, and my excerpt. Next post with my image, excerpt. Next post with my image, excerpt. And there are only going to be five because that's how many I chose in that section, again, that I had showed you previously. All right, let's say that I would like to make those truncations smaller. So I'm going to go back here again in the featured image, and I'm going to choose a small thumbnail. Save that. And this is how you get the traditional trun truncation that you see many sites having, where you have the title, small photo, and the truncation along the side, just like that. Now, some of the themes don't have, like my theme, doesn't have a great read more button that comes when you excerpt. And one of the ways you can get around that, besides having custom coding done, which we can do, is you can, instead of displaying post excerpts, you can display your post content. And then you limit the content to a certain number of characters. And usually it's going to be 250 to 300, depending on what you want to do. There's your thumbnail again. Save those settings. And let's update this 
site and you'll see that now it allows for this image the same image but now I have larger area and I now have a read more button and see how I have all of this room here alongside this image then I would go back in here and I would probably change that to perhaps 350 characters so that I have a nicer layout on that home page so this is a little bit closer and here we did not have any any text in this post we used a plugin so it didn't show up properly but you can see how it did this and then we have the read more button so that's how you are going to add communication the simplest to your site you may be using um, some things in your theme that will not allow for that they're going to be plugins that are used such as Genesis Featured, Amplified, and those kinds of plugins that are used. And if that's the case, then going in here and you don't see any change, um, don't worry. It's probably because you're using a plugin in, in one of your widgetized areas on your home page. But most of you that are using your, your theme standard, this is going to be the way to do it. So I'm going to go back to mine, be in the traditional way that we've chosen to do it, save my settings. And now when we come back here, there is my traditional, my traditional way of doing my posts. We have ours set for that. So that's how you can truncate your, your WordPress site simply. And if you have any questions about that, I'll always feel free to email us and ask us questions. And if you are scared to do this yourself or you can't quite figure it out, we are more than happy to help you.